Right, so we just want to show you this um, Ag Leader in, in Command 800 setup we've installed on this sand sprayer. Um, we fitted the Ag Leader's ISO liquid rate uh, control module as well onto it, as well as hydraulic steering. So uh, we've got a hydraulic valve at the front and also RTK, so we get that accuracy in the steering and the accuracy in the section control as well. Um, so you can see here, this is your mapping screen, so we can see the as applied rates as we're going across the field. See our target rate here, 144. We can also change that. We can have pre, two predefined rates as such, or we could work, work to a variable rate map if, if required. Um, if you press the buttons at the bottom here, the UT, it then takes us to the ISO liquid module, um, and we can change certain parameters with nozzle selection, and, uh, density of the products. If we're spraying liquid fertilizer, we can enter with a density uh, figure which the system will use to calculate the as applied rates. Um, we go back to our main home screen. We've got our um, like a drift indication. So as the pressure builds up, it'll give us a reading of what spray droplets are coming out of the nozzle. So coarse, very coarse, or fine. Um, it just gives us a, a, a bit of extra extra knowledge of what's going on outside. Um, so the modem we're using for the RTK is um, can do. Um, Wi-Fi, so we connected the display up to the to the internet as such, and that then enables us to download the satellite imagery as a background layer, which you can see here, which is quite a nice little touch of the display. But also, with being linked up to the Agfinity, we can then um, send the data back into wirelessly once we finish the field. So, yeah, it works quite nicely. We've also added a full pedal switch next to the four-wheel steer, just so it's all, all together as one, which we can use to engage the steering. With a little bit of fine-tune, we can get it so it tracks quite nicely. to go between two rates on the move, you can do quite simply. We've got our bar we're spraying out here at the bottom left. This is 2.4 at the minute. We've got our uh, drop of the sides. And these, these rate control modules can be fitted to any make and sprayer really, any older make and sprayer. So we can convert any uh, a sprayer into ice most effectively. And it can be run, this module can be run through non mag leader displays as well, such as John Deere displays, which we've done a few of now. Yeah. Right, so uh, as we're going along, we then get uh, the documentation side of it, we then get a total amount of product we've applied, we get the area we've applied, and we get the average litres a hectare um, under the productivity tab. It'll tell us how many hectares an hour we're doing, our average speed, our distance, and our time we've been in the field. It'll tell us how the area we've completed, and it'll tell us if we had a boundary around the field. It'll also give us the area remaining, so so we can work out then if we need to go come and refill the sprayer. We can work out how much we need to finish the field and all that sort of info. So it's all good stuff. We then can then do like a summary report of what's been applied throughout the season or throughout for a particular uh, block of land or a particular farm. It's quite a nice little summary of what we've applied. So it's quite a nice feature of the display.